Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to give a quick demo on how to create a RACI in Smartsheet. Now, what is a RACI? A RACI is used within project management and love it or not, um, but it's again, very useful at times to be able to say who's responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed. And again, there are variations upon this theme, the RASCI and others that um, companies use and adopt. So but the most common one is the RACI. And the point here is typically you can only have one person who's accountable, and then you might have various people who are responsible, and then others who are consulted and informed. And this can be used at a start of a project or any time during a project to really help be sure of accountabilities, who is responsible for doing what on the project. Personally, I find it is best used for decision making when you need to agree who's got decision rights on something to avoid delays on decision making. But that's all a different story on project management. So in terms of Smartsheet, how might you want to do this? So this for me is a very useful way if you're just gonna have a project team list. And so what I've done is I've taken a project team list and I have converted it into a RACI, um, pretty simple on that side. So here I've got my column, which is the primary column, um, and this has just got the various roles down the side. It's got the names, and then because these are linked to email addresses, you don't need to put email address, you can put other contact details if you wanted, phone numbers, etc. cetera. Um, and this purpose of not clogging it up. And then here I have a drop down list which just has one single choice. Now, clearly you could put someone in to be accountable and response, um, accountable and responsible. So if I want to go and say Rich Coles, he is, oops, wrong one. Um, if I want to say Rich Coles is accountable as well, let me just undo that. So if I just go back to this one and choose Rich Coles, so you can see that I'm accountable and responsible. So what it's doing is ultimately, we have the list down the side here, it's populating the rows across the top. Now, one little feature which I've got here, which I think is pretty useful, is what I'm using is I'm using a join collect formula, and then I'm using the character 10 formula. So what is that doing? It means that, and let me just go back to that formula again so you can have a nice little look at it. So what this join collect formula does is it means that items that appear down this side, if they fall within the criteria of that formula, which is if it is consulted, it brings them into this box. And if I didn't have the character 10 at the end of the formula, if I just take it out for a moment, it's not gonna work. If I, without the um, character 10, they all sit there in one line. So if I just maybe take it out like that, oh, just trying to take it out there. You can see everything just rolls in one straight line, which isn't very effective either. So the character 10 splits things onto different lines, really useful on that side. That's not about the RACI, that's just a bit of a formula um, advice here. Now, the other piece here, just going to the RACI again, is so you select people who, who are there. Now, what I've got also is if I want to add another person in, and let's just say I'm going to put in Catalina for this one, and she is going to be the um, furniture lead. He says, if I can spell, furniture lead and she is also going to be responsible for that as well so you can see how easy it's gone in and catalina has appeared at the top here directly now one thing you might have noticed also was the name of the project appeared here as well and i've just done a video on that and that video is called getting Com column formulas to run off one cell um, what you saw is by having the project name here it immediately appears why do i do that so that for racy First thing is that you can have this as a an item which appears in a report. So what I've created here is a report, and then this report can appear on a dashboard. So you can have all your information and then say, who's accountable responsible, consulted and informed on the bottom of your project dashboard. Or you can go across to have a portfolio dashboard. This is where the project name comes in. So you'll have just seen, I've done this one, and I will need to update this view because you can see that I've added in Catalina and she's not there. So let me just refresh on this piece. And so Catalina will have just come in to one of the projects, uh, should have. So as it comes across. So in terms of the, the view here, 
and it'll take a moment to flow through. So what have I done here? So I have listed the project name. If I just go back one moment to this one, I've got the project listed here and I've created reports and I've created three different versions depending on what you want to happen within your, your dashboard. So at a portfolio view, this is where it might be useful for stakeholders to see, well, Project Akonkawa, who's working on that one, who's accountable, responsible, consulted and informed, Fitzroy Villarica. So again, it lists all the various people here in terms of for those projects or you might want to have a view by name. And again, this is why the project name is so important on a portfolio view. So you can say, well, let's find Alejandro Rojas, um, Demo Productive, etc., and you can see all the projects they're involved in, what's their role and accountability, or by project at a portfolio level, who's doing what on these projects. So these are various views, just to kind of look inside that one. <clears throat> So these are just reports which I have created in this case. So and if I just go back to this one, I'm just going to refresh. So that's um, Akankawa. And if I go to the one by project, here's the one by name. Again, you could do this in a slightly different way. So I could group it by the account, the name. Um, so let me just go to, I think that is the by name. So I could sort ascending. And so then this way, uh, it's just not necessarily the easiest way to read it. But again, what I can do is I can collapse this down if I wanted to as well. So collapse all. And I, if I wanted to go in and see, well, what projects is um, Alejandra involved in? If I click on that, it will show me what she's involved in, what's Catalina involved in. Catalina's involved in this project, etc. So you can go down and see, right, Rich Coles is in various projects and Wow, second, accountable and responsible on that project. So again, these are various different views where you can see um, how that works. If I just go back to the dashboard, I'm just going to refresh this one and then you'll see how this one has changed now, the portfolio by name. You can see that has changed on the dashboard as well. So it takes up a lot more space. So there you have it. A number of views on how you might do a RACI um, for your projects into Smartsheet and then how you can use that information to flow through up to a portfolio level. Now, again, last thing on the portfolio level piece is let me just show you how this is working in terms of the data feed. So you want the sheets. So on this one, I've got Fitzroy and I've got the Akankawa one feeding in. Um, so the individual sheets feed this one. In this one by name, again, it's the same with two sheets and the portfolio one Actually, in this case, I have these names rolling up into my portfolio sheet so that these are individual line items and columns in my portfolio sheet, which enables me to do this view. So series of options. I trust one of those works for you if you're looking to have a RACI on your project, on your dashboard and in your Smartsheet arena. So thank you for watching. Again, trying to provide lots of guidance for how you can use Smartsheet and operate more efficiently any questions, please do get in touch. So I'm Rich Coles at Productive Project Solutions. Many thanks. Bye for now.